Hello, beautiful people. We are welcome to the program Changing Face of Lagos, live on ibiled.tv. My name is Nimat Alesh Lawyer. And I am Lucky again. So today we'll be talking about the changing face of transportation in Lagos State. Yes, yes, yes. That's key right now. <laughs> if you look at it in the past, getting into a bus is, has always, was always a problem. You, ha you find people giving testimonies of their clothes being torn, yes. or they have issues with conductors, or you just find out that things are just really not the way it should be exactly. for a mega city as it's expected to be. So the present administration looked at it and said, okay, let's get this thing straight. Let's get this thing on board. And Definitely. so with the invent of the BRT um, transport um, system, good roads, ongoing projects, rail, ferries. So today we'll be looking at all those things, everything that the present administration is doing to make transportation in Lagos become seamless making transportation in Lagos to become that very perfect thing that every 21st century mega cosmopolitan mega city is expected to be. So Nima, what do you think? Do okay. you think we should just go dissect transportation in Lagos State, bus, rail, Yes, everything. yes, yes, so that is what we'll be doing today. Mm. You know, the bus rapid transit came into Lagos State in 2008, and since then yeah. it has been very, very conducive for the people, faster, cheaper, comfortable with air conditioners and also Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And you know now you can actually have an e an e card whereby you would purchase the card, put load in, in any amount you want and mm -hmm. without staying that's, on the queue. Yeah, that's using your mobile phone. Yes, without yeah. staying on the queue, you would purchase your tickets for the BRT buses in Lagos State. And you know Lagos State has been one, in fact not even one, is only state that has this scheme going on right now mm. in the country. Yes, the present administration, the um, Akimumbiam, Akimumbiam body led administration, um, launched about 400 air conditioned buses in the ever busy Kurudu Road from Ikorodu roundabout to CMS. And you find out those buses are very, very neat. I've yes. taken a ride in a couple of times in those buses, and it's you, you're not sweating. The, the, the BRT lane is there. So the buses just take you from point A to point B. And you know, prior to the past where you have to be in the bus, getting all wet for an interview, yes. getting all soaked with sweat and getting to an interview looking um, really messed up. But the present administration, the Akin Miyambo, the led administration looked at it and has provided these 400 air conditioned buses. And did I mention that there were also Wi Fi enabled buses that yes. you can actually be yes. in them and yes. really have good fun watching? Yes your different videos as you know looking at the too. Ikeja bus terminal yeah. we've had we've had buses trooping in into mm. Lagos in fact they, they are coming in barge by barge and we yeah. know by the time this bus starts being on preparation in fact over 52 million people would be affected yeah. in Lagos yeah. states you know Lagos is very very yeah. tight and transportation is key mm. in every state but Lagos state has made it one of their major issues that they that they've settled into yeah, you know, the buses run 24 hours. Yes, definitely, they do. So you always have a bus to take you to where you're going to. So there's no scare of, I close late from the office. Exactly. And Lagos, now everybody's queuing. <laughs> I never mentioned that. In Lagos, you formally, you just jump into a bus. But right now, you find out that Lagosians are queuing to get into these buses. So it's a welcome development right now. Yes. And it's, it just works seamlessly. People are not asked to queue anymore. People are not cajole to queue anymore. They just get to the bus stop and they are queuing and they are taking their tickets and getting into the buses. So the administration is really doing good on the area of um, transportation, BRT wise, and it's a welcome development. Yes, and more importantly, we need to know that with the advance of BRT in Lagos, it, it has reduced to the barest minimum mm. accident. Yes, yes, yes. Because more people are taking the buses and taking yes, their cars. Yes. So it's easier for them to just run jump into the buses from point A to point B across the metropolis and make things, you know, seamless for themselves. And also the commuters enjoy free rides on major fest festive holidays. Exactly. So Christmas, Idel Fitri, people are <laughs> in bus free and that's by the Akin Exactly. You know, they Christmas cherish well. lives of people and they you know when it's time to enjoy, they tend mm. to enjoy it with you. So why, why don't you give them this, this lovable event, memorable, mm. so they would know that Lagos State has them at heart? Yes, yes, yes. And also, um, there's a ferry service. We failed to mention that, apart from the buses that p um, take people from point A to point B, the administration is looking at taking it off-road 
and get exactly. me into the water with. And um, the other day I was reading um, in the dailies, there's this um, new construction happening, ongoing actually, yep. at, um, from Oroshoki, that's just after Third Midland Bridge, exactly. and it will take you to VI in 15 minutes. So the issue of I'm in traffic, I'm on my way, yes. it's been taken out of um, the picture. So you get to Oro, park your car, because there's this massive land where you can park your car, get into a ferry that will just take you from that pl um, point to VI in less than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So the government is not just looking at road, they're looking at waterway, they're Rail. looking at um, trails, rail. rail. No, it's, it's, it's great, it's great. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> So what else do you want to um, tell them that we should know? Oh, yes. Oh, you know, the, the, the rail is going to be leaking badagri to every part mm. of the mainland. And when this is completed, oh, God, you will be amazed on how transportation will be easy in Lagos. It's how everything mm. will go smooth and you won't have any cause for anything to go wrong in Lagos states. Yes, we failed to mention and um, give to you there's, um, there's this ongoing construction that is going on between um, from Oshodi to the yes. like bags yes, in Lagos yes. State. So it's all about progress. It's all about taking Lagos to that 21st century <laughs> mega city where things just work perfectly. So the administration is saying, let's get these people in that um, access to really enjoy themselves. And so the BRT lanes are being constructed yes, as we speak. Are. And as uh, Nimat mentioned earlier, the buses are already on ground. They are coming in, in batches. So it's not just making the roads the government is looking ahead of that and getting the yes. buses full air conditioned Condition. buses to wi -Fi. Be on ground so it's it's going to work perfectly by the time that is done so even it's not just it's, uh, they're trying to make it central uh, not centralized yes. they're trying to make transportation around lagos to just come into place and things that's, that's what um the administration is looking at we, we've not mentioned about the light rail oh the light rail, that's another thing. Amazing. So Amazing. If you are not taking the bus, <laughs> if you are not going on the on the walkway that's um, presently be, um, that's done on every um, um, street, you can take the rail as well. And the light rail, do you want to tell them anything about the light rail? You know, the blue rail project, like, like, like you mm. said, is going to be connected to, and there's, there's, there's a building that is going on currently for it. Mm. So we are hoping by at the end of everything, Lagos is just starting the mega city will just be key yeah, because so you see Lagos as the mega city that it is. Yes, yes. It's not like we're making it up. We are not. Lagos mm. State is a mega city. So yes, the blue rail, the blue rail um, project is still ongoing. As yes, as a name as um, just mentioned, it's um, going to run from Badagri to the island. Yes, and presently they are actually doing the construction. So. You might come into Lagos and see a whole lot of bridges everywhere. Don't be surprised. Those, that is just the Blue Rail trying. Um, they're just trying to make the connection between the island and Badagri. So if you are staying as far as Badagri, you can link by train to the island. So take out the buses, take out the air, just get into the train and from Badagri, smooth, com uh, smooth, comfortable, yes, beautiful, lovely air conditioned trains. And they'll just take you, take you to the island. So even if you are working in Badagri, there's no excuse of are you staying in a very far place? Yes. You can get <laughs> to the island seamlessly as well. So um, also we'll be looking at, um, do you tell them about the fact that the um, Lamata started at 20, 2009 mm -hmm. and the BRT city, um, system has lifted over 52 million passengers within that time till now? And I'm sure it's been gone up. Yes, you are definitely that then have it was like up. 52 million passengers. So imagine us having um, the Lamata Rail to start by 2009, that's the BRT buses, and between then and now, how many Lagosians and those that have even come into Lagos? That's much because the uh, statistics proves that, um, has stated that about 12 people come into Lagos every, every day. Minute. Every minute. 12 every minute. Different individuals come into Lagos every minute. So that's. The government has to look into that part of um, making Lagos a mega city. I know other cities and countries are taking mm. taking it from Lagos. They are looking at us. Yes, so yes, yes. We are making. We are standing out. We are making it. Yes. Are making making a difference. Yes. So, yes. And you know the journey to future Lagos has 
everything mm. has started yes, and exactly. everyone is invited. Yeah, the definitely governor, invited. The governor is always saying that. <laughs> everybody is always saying that, that. Look, this journey is not just for Lagosians, it's for everybody. You are Lagosian, you stay in Lagos, you work in Lagos, you just have to come on this journey with us. And we are hoping that you will take us, t come along with us on this journey and let's take you to that 21st century mega city that we are looking at Lagos to be. So Nima, would you want to sign us up as usual? Yes, please do ensure you follow us on our social media pages at ibled.tv and you follow the hashtag of changing face of Lagos on all social media platforms and you subscribe to the YouTube channels. Have a lovely day. Bye.